They were all kind of came in by different uh, modes of transport. Some were by ambulance, some were by police, some were by private. It took a toll on all of us to see that many kids come in. Morgan Udemoser is used to seeing people on their worst day as a doctor in Denver House ER. But she says a shooting involving several kids this year is tough to forget. And some parents coming in the door with their kids holding their kids, right? And so that's that's an image that I won't get out of my brain. More patients like this are coming into her hospital than normal. Pre-COVID, Denver Health says penetrating trauma cases like gunshot wounds and stabbings made up 15% of all trauma. It jumped to almost 25% in 2020. But I'm hoping the numbers will dive back down as we go into fall into winter. Um, so it's not odd for us to have a high summer, but this is definitely higher than normal. So we've seen some tragic cases that have come through the hospital that really do affect everybody from the person who registers them in, into the uh, into the computer system to the one who has to take them out of the operating room when they've died on the table. Dr. Ryan Lawless is the trauma medical director. He believes the pandemic is playing a role in the increase in violent cases. He says numbers started climbing last spring. We really haven't seen that drop back to the normal that we thought it would. Maybe the initial increase was because there was some restrictions in a little bit of the being cooped up in the house and that, that kind of stuff. It's hard to put a finger on what it is now. It's been a difficult year for healthcare in Colorado. Whether for COVID or trauma, they'll still be there when people need help the most. And this is what we are here for, for the city. In Denver, I'm Kelly Rinke, 9 News.